A University of Otago graduate is celebrating the success of her documentary about famous New Zealand kākāpō, Sirocco. Her film is one of three finalists in the newcomer section of one of the world's most prestigious wildlife and environmental film festivals. Documentary maker Ash Kapoor joins us to talk about it. Good evening. Good evening. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Tell us about your film. Uh, well, my film is called Sirocco, How a Dad Became a Stud. <laughs> uh, it's a rags to riches story about uh, the only bird in the world with a government job, who happens to be a kākāpō. And um, as a lot of people know, there are only 125 kākāpō in the world, and kākāpō are native to New Zealand. And one among them is very special. <laughs> Now tell us about the competition that you're a finalist in. Uh, well, Wild Screen is uh, the most prestigious competition for a uh, festival for uh, wildlife films in the world. It's uh, called the Green Oscars, which is slightly frightening. <laughs> but yeah, so that's where um, it's, uh, it's been nominated in the Best Newcomer category, which... Uh, hmm. yeah. Why did you choose to focus on Sirocco? So I was making this documentary as part of my university degree in natural history filmmaking at Otago University. And I wanted to make a film that, was, uh, that would educate as well as entertain. So I was looking for a subject that would have a conservation significance, but at the same time would appeal to audiences worldwide. Um, while researching Kakapo, I came across uh, Sirocco's life story and realized here was a bird that happened to think he was a human being. So I thought this was a great way in to sort of um, tell you a story about Kākāpō, but through one of a very special specimen. Mm. Where and when did you film Sirocco? I filmed it last year, late last year, um, in fact right here in Dunedin. Um, he visited Orokanui Eco Sanctuary, so I was filming there. I also filmed him in Maud Island where he lives, and in transit. I filmed him on the flight, so he gets his own seat on the airplane, seat belt and everything. So. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, How long did it take to make the documentary? About two months, I'd say, um, including research and uh, scripting and everything. The days that I filmed were very short, like mm. that was a very short period, but two months overall from beginning to production, uh, post-production. What's the main message of your film? Oh, well, um, I'd say animals uh, make the best uh, ambassadors for conservation. Mm. Uh, and uh, wherever Sirocco goes, he spreads joy and happiness and... Uh, I think that's what my film is about. It's about the hope and optimism and happiness that animals like Sirocco spread. How does it feel to have this sort of international recognition? Extremely humbling, to be honest, and uh, I feel very lucky uh, and extremely thankful to my teachers in the department who clearly gave us a very, very good mm. education. What's happened with the film since you graduated? Um, I travelled with the film a lot in India. Uh, it's been screened in schools and colleges, universities, NGOs, corporates, uh, ranging from audiences that were uh, eight-year-olds to 80-year-olds. And uh, everybody across the board seems to agree on one thing, that the kākāpō is an extremely adorable creature. Mm. Is yeah. this your first documentary? I'd say yes, in a way. It's definitely my first real documentary because it's, um, I've had full creative control over it. Uh, it was a one girl project from beginning to end. So yes, mm. I'd say definitely this is my first real documentary. Are there more in the pipeline? Well, there are ideas in the pipeline that could become realities. <laughs> but yes, um, I am currently working on some other things, like I'm working currently with uh, NHNZ. I'm an uh, associate producing a couple of uh, shows that they're doing in India, wildlife shows. So that's in the pipeline currently, and we'll be heading to India to film that soon. Mm. When will you find out if the film has won? I'll find out in October in <laughs> Bristol at the Panda Awards, yes. Okay, and long-term plans for your career? Uh, well, I hope to continue to make uh, animal documentaries, tell wonderful animal stories from around the world and uh, remind people what a weird and wonderful world we live in. Ash Kapoor, documentary maker, good luck for the finals. Thanks Thank so much you. for your time. Thank you.